This tutorial is divided into two parts. The first part is about the basic knowledge in Photoshop Elements. The second part is the practice itself. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm Martin W. Lausch. An exposure in photography is the amount of light that will be recorded by a camera. Whether it's a digital camera or a traditional 35mm camera, for example. If I go to the photo bin, I have some examples of different exposure of the same photo or cliché. This photo was taken against the setting sun. My camera reacted by allowing less light through the camera lenses. My photo is underexposed. The same cliché but overexposed. The tree trunk is obviously too bright in the middle. Now the normally exposed version. Every detail is preserved. Here many details were washed out in the sky. If I compare this ground to the other one, well, they are similar. We can see the details. sending those photos back into the bin. There are many ways or commands in Photoshop Elements to improve a photo taken against the sun. I strongly suggest a command called Shadows Highlights. So I take an enhance, adjust lightning and shadow highlights. I move around the slider to see how the shadows need to be brightened. Finally I stop at 29% and I hit OK. Let's do it once more. Can the hands adjust lightning? shadow highlights. You can see that the sky is not affected by this command. I'm moving the slider to the maximum. Finally, 47 will be OK. Before clicking OK, look at the sky. Some details begin to disappear. What you can do is darken those highlights. Twenty-four percent will be all right. So I click OK to accept those changes. This tool will straighten your photo. You will find this tool at the bottom of the toolbox. It looks like a bubble level. There are three icons. I take the first one. The trick is very simple. You draw a line where you think the horizon should be. Let's say from point A to point B. Always remember to hold your click down when moving your mouse. This will create an empty area outside your photo. In this case, it's the green background. Fill the edges by clicking here. I undo my action in the history palette. You 
in that case that command worked out but sometimes it might leave you with other results let's try the second icon this will crop your photo therefore reduce the size Let's try the third icon, which keeps the original size, height and width. To remove the empty areas, click on the autofill edges right here. From left to right as usual. And it works well. Here we are in my original photo. The bottom of my photo and the tree trunk are too dark. And of course the horizon is not straight. So I click on the straighten tool, I click and hold my click down. I move to the right and release the pressure. To crop this photo manually I will use some guides. So I take view, rollers, to place my guides at the right place. I click and drag my mouse where I want my guide to be. I place a second guide at the bottom. Then. I use the vertical ruler to place a third guide and so on. Those guides will be very useful for cropping. So I click on the rectangular marquee here and I drag it from one corner to the other and I release the pressure. Now I'm ready to crop my photo. Image, crop, to clear all guides, I take View, Clear Guides, and I remove the selection Select, Deselect. I take Enhance, Adjust Lightning, and Shadows Highlights. Photoshop will suggest you an improvement, but you have the last word. So I move the slider to the right and left. Finally, I stop at 28% and hit OK. I can do it again, it's necessary. Enhance, adjust lightning, and shadow highlights. Moving the slider to the right won't be good in this case. So I stop at 21%. The sky here and the sea could be a bit darker. So I move the slider to the right. By doing that, I can recuperate some details in the sky, but not too much. Finally, 13% will be okay. Now I'm almost finished. I'm ready to save the changes under a different name. Therefore, the original photo is preserved. I just add OK to the original name. And I had to save it. I keep the quality to 12 which is the best quality you can get. The slider completely to the right. Mm -hmm. 
In the history palette you can see all the action that I've done. By clicking on the text I can see them all, one after the other. So, before and after the improvement. I accept these changes by saving my file once more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.